Hello, Dr. Enzyme. I have decided to go on to graduate school in mathematics and get my PhD. I would like for you to give me a recommendation. Hello, Tom. I remember you from my differential equations class. You are a second semester junior now, correct? Yes, that is right. What made you decide to want to go to graduate school for mathematics? I don't know. I think after taking calculus, differential equations, and abstract algebra, I guess you can say that I fell in love with the subject. I aced all of my mathematics courses so far. I like solving those volume of revolution problems in integral calculus. I like doing those double and triple integrals, integrating by parts and solving those neat problems in differential equations. So where are you planning to go to graduate school? I want to go to the best graduate school I can get into. So as a first choice, I am looking at getting into Yale, you better Harvard. You have to excuse me, Tom. But are you out of your damn mind? No, sir. My grades don't lie. I have aced all of my mathematics courses up to this point. Yes, but you are a second semester junior and have not did either topology nor real analysis, which are both heavy laden in rigorous proof writing. Then you talk about how you like to work piddly problems in calculus and differential equations. Those piddly problems you have had in differential equations are child's play compared to graduate level work in mathematics. Furthermore, you say are interested in going to an Ivy League graduate school. People who get into those graduate schools can solve just about every problem from your piddly calculus and differential equations book standing on their heads. People who go to graduate school in mathematics at Yale, Harvard, or UPenn are about at the level you are at now in mathematics, just getting out of high school. Well, I don't know. Maybe I can settle on a lower-rated graduate school like the University of Texas, Penn State, or Ohio State. Those are still some fine schools. Those are the schools students go to who are not accepted into graduate school at Harvard, Yale, or UPenn. Which means that the students who go to these schools are very hungry. These larger graduate schools may be lower rated than the Ivy League schools, but they will still eat you alive academically. But enough of that. What do you think you may want to specialize in? I was thinking about specializing in something like double or triple integrals, or maybe differential equations. You fool! Are you out of your damn mind? No. Why? No one specializes in double or triple integrals and differential equations on a graduate level is nothing like working those simple-minded problems you have had last semester. You will have to know about existence and uniqueness, measure theory, calculus of variations, residues and modern analysis. Yes, but I want to follow in your footsteps and be just like you and become a professor. I think you have a few screws loose. You need to see a psychiatrist. Excuse me. I come here to ask you for a recommendation for graduate school and this is what I get. What you have to understand is that I am doing you a big favor by being harsh with you at this point. From my experiences, no one goes on to get a PhD in mathematics just because they are good at elementary differential equations, calculus and abstract algebra. You have had a sampling perhaps of what real mathematics is all about from your abstract algebra course, but you need to go a little deeper than that. You also need to get a better overview of mathematics in general. Build a much better foundation from the ground up. You should understand mathematics from a very broad perspective by reading about some of the classical unsolved problems in books written for non-mathematicians. Once you have done that, you are ready to perhaps find an area of concentration or specialty you like. You may discover that you like number theory for example or manifolds. Then you may be ready to build up a good toolbox which will better equip you to tackle the problems in your area of interest. There are three main areas of maths in which you must be able to solve and prove a great deal of the harder types of problems before even thinking about getting a PhD in maths. They are the following. Abstract algebra, real analysis, and topology. 
If you do not know how to write up rigorous proofs and solve the harder types of problems in these courses before graduate school, you will probably wind up dropping out of the program. But what do you advise me to do? I advise you to forget about going to graduate school for mathematics and focus on your studies. If however your heart is set on pursuing mathematics, take your time and do as I suggested. Read and study mathematics to obtain a very broad perspective of the field. After you obtain a broad perspective, then maybe you can focus on an area of mathematics in which you are interested. But regardless of what you do, you must be able to write and read proofs. Perhaps you should study some set theory before taking real analysis or topology. Get a book on how to read and write mathematical proofs. At any rate, do not try to go directly to graduate school after you finish. You should be a complete math geek before you go to graduate school. You should be at a point where math is about the only thing you do. You should enjoy writing proofs and working hard problems for about six hours a day. Give yourself about two years after undergrad to pursue maths as a hobby as if it is your full-time job. Get yourself some simple-minded job like a night watchman so you can devote most of your mental energy to mathematics. After that, then maybe you will be ready for graduate work in mathematics. But at this point, you are not ready. I know you are young and ambitious, but I have seen so many like you come and go. You think you are so smart in math just because you do well in differential equations and calculus. Elementary differential equations and calculus are mere child's play compared to real mathematics. Since you have had abstract algebra, go back and work some of the more difficult problems and proofs in that course. Move into the later chapters. Take things one step at a time. You are still young. Slow down and critically examine things. This advice works well for maths as well as life in general. You have to excuse me, I am scheduled to be in a dissertation committee meeting.